you. It was good. I'm telling you, I liked it a lot better than the first episode, but now it's starting to get into the mix, right? But it is cool. We finally got that interaction we wanted, the Bucky and Falcon interaction, Mr. Wilson himself and Bucky Barnes. Like the way they kind of got met together there and how they had to pretty much, he was going on a mission. He's kind of like, you can see there's a little bit of resentment of who the new Captain America is. And you find out that Bucky is a little angry at Sam for giving up the shield because Cap gave him the shield. And by doing so, he was wrong about him. That's they had a therapy session. So that therapy session that you guys seen in the trailer, guys, that's what it was. And they're having that staring contest, which was phenomenal. It was funny as hell. But you got the severity of the situation. Uh, that, I guess, truck scene that you see the Falcon kind of like jump from truck to truck and go underneath and all that crap. And the Winter Soldier, that was phenomenal. That was like movie level greatness. Spent their money there. Let's just say that. Uh, from him, doesn't uh, Bucky doesn't like the Red Wing. They end up going to a factory first, guys. Some abandoned place in the middle of nowhere. Discover that this rebel rogue team that has superpowers, super soldiers, just like Bucky and Captain America was, are hijacking medical supplies for some reason from someone we don't know just yet. U.S. agent, that's I'm going to call him, I'm not going to call him Cap because there's only one Captain America in my books. He ends up, sh well, he shows up pretty much and he saves their asses. Let's just say that. They look like they were going to lose and get their ha asses uh, handed to them, but he ends up helping them up. That's when we finally see, you can see Falcon and uh, <laughs> Bucky walking on the road after they lost Red Wing because Bucky hates Red Wing. So he lost, it got destroyed. Because you're not sad about it. No, no, yeah. I goes, no, you're not. So they're kind of like a little bickering here and there. That's the buddy cop uh, angle, guys. And then who drives along? U.S. agent with uh, his little partner in crime, his own Sam Wilson. Let's just say that. And they're hesitant in getting in there. And they can kind of like you can see where they're butting heads and all that crap. And he's just saying, listen. I just want to be the best version of Captain America, my own version, not Steve, I can never replace him. And at the beginning of the episode, is we see that whole uh, football stadium celebration, sit-down interview shit that we actually learn about uh, U.S. agent himself. I think his name is John Walker, if I'm not mistaken, guys. And you kind of got a little bit behind the scenes and what he's about a little bit briefly. But I still don't trust the guy. 100% I don't. So anyways, so Sam and... Uh, Bucky end up going their way. They go their own way. They get into trouble. Somehow, some way, uh, Bucky ends up taking them to go see an old friend, a forgotten super soldier, black super soldier. Um, I guess from when Steve and him were around and that Bucky apparently lost his arm too. So that's a little bit backstory there. I'm thinking that was probably the original Falcon or the black Captain America that they buried and he ended up going to jail for 30 years, man, for that, that was his reward, he said. So he has a little resentment, but holy shit, that scene was so intense. And then to go outside and to kind of be pulled over by cops, like as you're walking, because they're having a little argument, racial tensions, like that was damn real. I'm getting goosebumps from it. Holy shit. Like it finally gave maybe the rest of people like me and the guys like whatever the hell that, you know, the world that they live in, the fear, like, you know, at any time, just for walking down the street, you can get arrested and you don't have the same privilege as we do because of the scalp color of our skin is ridiculous. But Bucky ends up getting going to get tossed in jail because he broke his uh, he had to go see his shrink or something. And that was the I guess the deal between him and the government. If you're going to stay out of jail, you got to go see this shrink and do so. So he doesn't. Gets tossed in jail. Sam ends up going there himself later on. You find out that he's getting bail. And the reason why he's getting out of bail is because the new Captain America U.S. agent wants to work with him. So he's pulling strings to get him out. So they get out and basically they have a nice little powwow discussion on the outside saying, listen, 
It's not a good idea to work with us because our hands are not handcuffed like you guys. And Cap goes, fine, just stay out of my way. So what do Bucky and uh, Falcon decide that they got to do? They got to get some answers. And when they heard, uh, I guess, we people or my people or whatever the hell from talking to, I think his name was, is it Vincent? I'm not too sure. The uh, forgotten black Captain America guy that, the, you know, soldier that I'm, that's what I'm calling because I think that's what they're alluding to. Um, that kind of refers to Hydra. So they're thinking, okay, who knows Hydra well or work for Hydra that is in some sort of high security prison? Come on, guys. Nemo. Baron Zemo. So that's where they end up going at the end of the episode. And that's where we're left off. So they're headed off to go talk to this guy to see what information he has to give them so they can track down the sources and stop these super soldiers from going down. So... It looks good. It's getting very interesting, very fast, very complicated, which is good. It's layer upon layer. Reminds me a little bit of Super, Super Soldier. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, the second one, guys. I can't even speak properly. And uh, I can't wait to see where it goes. And I'm loving it. There's only four more episodes left. It's going to be bananas and crazy. But a lot of name dropping, good ties. I love the backstory. It's going to be good. So whatever happens at the end, if Sam's going to get back his shield, is the U.S. agent going to be bad? I don't know yet at this point. You know, haven't followed the comic books or any of the storylines, but I'm sure Kevin Feige is plucking here and there, left, right, and center from the comic book source materials and stuff like that to give us the best six-episode series on Disney+. Plus. So there you go, guys. Those are my spoiler-filled highlight Marvel spoiler rundown moments. You guys go in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you like it better than the first one? Is it on par on the first? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. I can't wait to see the next one. So there you go. So, okay. Okay.